I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line of correct. You know, I might have to look at the bar I go soon in the interest of maintaining the food market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. <laughs> God damn. Oh man. This is date great ladies. Uh one 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 club. Alright. Here we are, Marquee Printing Company. Four fourteen PM. Ah, look at that old school fan. <laughs> Looks so rusty. Alright, let's talk to the owner. Is that you? For you gentlemen. I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. All right, let's talk to you. Some questions for you, Mr. Lightbulb. Lightbulb. <laughs> knowledge of the no, wait, knowledge of the theft racket. Mr. Lightbulb, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Um, what are you looking at? You, uh, uh, uh. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Pink slip supply. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Oh, you're lying, because they had the papers with their names on it. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. All right, Coombs Auto Deliveries. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well, but this really is irregular. Over here. Alright. Why could he just bring it on the other side? Look, he's he's smoking again. God damn, this guy's a problem. Alright, let's look at this. Recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Alright, let's see here. Um this guy? You certainly encourage repeat business light bulb. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. All right, that was pretty fast. You, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. All right. Well, what else do we have to go? Where do we go from here? Oh, 58th Street again, I guess. Set that current destination. All right, buddy, let's go. Nope, no, come on. Okay, okay, okay. He's with me this time. You can drive. I was going to say, like, since he's smoking inside there, he probably just gonna stay there and not want to get it out. All right, let's go to 58th Street. God damn it! I run out of water. My throat's getting dry. I'm gonna get some water, hopefully soon. I won't. My throat won't get dry. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there.
Alright, we're gonna have a shootout here. Who's that at me? No, that's not me. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Alright. Oh god. Nope. Take cover. He's dead. Alright. <laughs> this is where the exciting part comes in. Oh, my hat! My hat got shot off! God damn it. You're gonna pay for that, buddy. Nobody shoots off my hat. Uh, run. Take cover. Take cover to here. Here. Where is everybody else? Are right, he dead? Um. All right, let's move up. Move up. Oh god. Oh, car broke. Exploded. Uh. See here. I right, got a headshot. Get the last guy over there. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Where the hell's the back door at? He went over here. Oh. Oh, yeah, a shotgun. Take cover, buddy. Come on. Ooh, boom. There you go. Uh, who's that guy? Who he is he? Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. All right. Let's see here. What? Is, what the hell was that? I heard something. What the hell was it? There we go. Oh, look at that! Slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. All righty. Let's see here, what else do we have here? Anything else? Oh, oh. We got some papers here. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Okay. What is this? Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightball has been on a losing streak. Oh, is that everything? We've got a trail. I guess it is. And stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the ballot of bulge. I can't give you anything. Oh, pink slip supply. All about Marky printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Hmm. Oh, oh. He's making a derpy face. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to say doubt. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. You'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall, the guy who runs Marquee, he's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Association with, um, Lip Lipvot? I don't know how you say his name. Lightfall, the guy. Lightfall, there you go. Tell me about him. It's one of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. Oh no, you're lying. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow. Hey, would I lie to you, Detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? Um, let's see here. Um, where the hell is it? The delivery ledger. There you go. Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in hock over 20 grand if the feds find out. Contracts will be all over. Lightfall plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. 
Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. All right. Hey, he still goes to jail. All right. I guess suspensers. All right. I guess we have to go back to the marquee printing company. All right. Another achievement or accomplishment. All right, let's go. One more, and we should be done with this case. Come over here. Come on. Keep your shirt on. <laughs> You're coming very slowly. What the hell? Oh, okay, I gotta say like, what the hell is all the people there for? Can you drive to this one? Ooh, oh man. Oh, okay. This case pretty take a pretty long time. Uh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, we shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. The guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Yes, it is. Wise words. All right, well, like I was saying, this case has been taking me quite some time, almost like 30 minutes. Oh, man. And I'm trying to finish this game before GTA 5 comes out. Ooh, I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna have to be doing like three hour sessions of this game every day. All right, let's go inside, talk to this guy. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. All right, deliveries to the industrial street. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, light bulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. You got the bedding slips we found there. Save it, light bulb. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof or I call my attorney. Um, let's see here. The gambling bits, depths. Here it is. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Oh, he was already, he's already ready to rat LAPD people out. The Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. <laughs> Alright. Well. Let's see here. Ugh. My toes getting really thirsty, whatever. I'm gonna go get some water right now. I'm not gonna pause it because, you know, it's just gonna take me like, what, 10, 15 seconds, so... You know, enjoy the stats of that. I'm going to go get some water right now, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Got my water here, but I won't be that dry like 
I won't lose my voice of dryness of the throat. So here we go. All right. Hopefully I didn't take that long. So yeah. Hopefully you guys were. Um. Yeah. Whatever. Here we go. Flashback. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in '48. That's four more hard years of fighting. Huh. All right. Well, <laughs> there's not a flashback. All right. I think there's one more case in the. Yeah, there you go. The Fallen Idol. The last case. As being a traffic detective, and then I think we'll go to homicide. What is this? Ooh! Looks like someone planned something. Might be a fake. You have a new case. Two women. Possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? <laughs> the Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. All right. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Let's go, partner. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. All right, let's go. Tear to my eye, watch Trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, now. Can we hear him? He's too far away. Try to keep up, Stefan. Come on, Stefan. Okay, partner. There you are. Come on, hurry up. Get over here. Let's go. Let's get our asses up there. <laughs> Uh, it feels so good drinking water. Crash site, 7.49 a.m. Ooh, that was a big drop. Crime scene. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard. <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Uh-huh. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey Bukowski, long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. Pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, can stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. All right. This ain't the red carpet, so get out of my lens. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. All right. Well, let's go. Oh God! I almost fell over. How the hell would we get to the crash site? Um. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. What the hell? Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of June? Beast of... I don't like. Keep out of this. Um... Can I? I wanted to do this later. You're giving me a thorough going over. I was just starting to enjoy it. What the hell's wrong with her? 
need to get our bearings. Oh, how the hell would I morning. get down there? I want to get the evidence first before I do any questioning, but how the hell would I get down there? This way, I guess. Alright, come on, Stefan. Don't get behind me you. again. Coming, Stefan? Phelps, I'm coming. Yes, you are. Alright. You want to see this, Phelps? There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. What is it? Hey, pennies. All right. Look at that. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Oh, pennies. <laughs> all right, let's put that down. What's in the bag? A letter. Everybody carries letters, apparently, like in the 40s. Ah. Uh, huh. She's a long way from home. Alright. Put that back in there. What's in the car? Ooh, some blood. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. All right, whatever. Is there everything? No, what's over here? The license plate. All right. It's pretty nice and important, I guess. Um, anything on the other side? Nope. Um, I guess that's everything. I can talk to you. Driver, maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Where? There we go. Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Huh. All right. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. All right, let's get up there then. Now we could talk to her since we have some evidence to see if she's lied or not. All right, let's get up there and talk to her. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I guess he was so excited to go talk back to her. So let's go. All right. Doping allegation. I understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Huh. Oh, what the? Nope. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. <laughs> and don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Our injured female passenger. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? The underwear. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? The underwear that was found. Where is it? Underwear. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. All right. Fake shrunken head. We found a but the car just disappeared in the background. To tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. 
All right. Oh, well, you look at it every time. Every time someone looks around or they look somewhere else, I always doubt. I always put doubt. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Suspect Mark Bishop. You Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. Uh... Uh, okay, you're looking right at me. I don't know you're lying. Uh. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee. I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news hounds. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. Huh. Good here. So see what we All right. Out of the kid. Let's go to the central receiving hospital, I guess. Let's go. All right, look at him. He's actually going to the car for once. Let me jump this. Hui! Ah. Uh, I thought I was able to jump that. I guess not. All right, let's go. Can you drive to this one? Drive over there, buddy. All right, that's where that's where we're going right now. So let's go. Mm. Yeah. All right. Central receiving hospital. Blah blah blah. Eight one a.m. All right. Let's go. Uh, okay. Detective Phelps here to interview with Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, detective. And that nurse is doing wear those hats anymore. No, I don't need to be Hello, doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor, detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swaps seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. All right, let's go inside. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head's still... What is this? this Mystery tales. Case. Okay. There was something here, I was... There we go. Jessica Hamilton. Alright. Traces of chlorine hydrate in bloodstream recently administrated. Do not administer... Uh, 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 okay. Put that back down. Let's talk to you. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident. If that's okay. Um, okay. All right, crash incident report. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Nothing happened yesterday. It, what? You're lying. The truth, Jessica. Why the big cover up? I'm not lying to you. Uh, we got the underwear. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I 
told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. But that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch?